In this video, I'm going to show you the incredible benefits of doing push-ups every day for 90 days. There were 9 pros that completely changed my body, but also some cons that I wasn't expecting, which I will touch more on later on. The push-up is one of the best straightforward exercises to develop your upper body. It targets multiple muscle groups for starters, and when done daily, apart from increased strength, one can experience a variety of other benefits. Do daily push-ups help with preventing bone loss? Are they good for weight loss? Stay tuned until the end and I'll share with you my favorite push-up variations when it comes to maximizing the power of push-ups. Number 1. It Increases Muscle Strength and Size If there's one thing that everybody knows about push-ups, it's the fact that they develop upper body strength. When you do push-ups regularly, it isn't just your chest that benefits from it, but also your triceps, shoulders, core, and wing muscles. Although a push-up may seem like a simple movement, this exercise requires great stability and control. As you lower your body toward the ground, multiple muscle groups in your body, specifically the upper body parts, work hard as a unit to keep your body in alignment. Moreover, your functional strength also sees an increase as you keep doing push-ups, which refers to your performance and activities that require upper body strength such as swimming, climbing, and pressing movements. Additionally, push-ups help increase the size of the muscle in various body parts. Therefore, whether you're a complete beginner or a seasoned athlete, adding push-ups to your workout program is sure to bring you a step or two closer to your fitness goals. You probably have a general idea of how daily push-ups can transform the body. But did you know that this exercise goes beyond just physical benefits? Push-ups are also amazing for your mental focus, but more on that coming up. Number 2. It Promotes a Stronger Core We've established already that push-ups are associated with upper body strength. What some don't know is that this movement is also an effective core exercise. When doing a push-up, it's essential to have stable and strong control throughout the torso. Without this, your front side would drop to the floor. And to build that type of hold, it's necessary to engage all the core muscles, including the transverse abdomini, the often overlooked part of the core. So yes, the more push-ups you do, the stronger your core becomes, provided of course that you're doing it the right way and form. Much like muscle mass, bone mass declines as we age. This is where the bone-building effects of push-ups come in. A part of the aging process is a decrease in bone mass density. According to research, body weight exercises like push-ups can help curb your body's natural inclination toward bone loss. In fact, resistance training can also encourage the development of new bone, and push-ups are also considered a resistance type of exercise. Simply put, it's as effective as any other strength training or weightlifting program. So, if you're looking for a way to strengthen and build your bones, look no further than daily push-ups. Something else I noticed was an improved posture and boost in my flexibility. Doing push-ups every day can improve your flexibility, since it involves stretching the back muscles as your body gets lower to the floor. Likewise, lifting your body weight causes your back muscles to get stretched. Such movements are the key to enhancing your body's flexibility. When it comes to posture, push-ups also play a role. The effects are even more felt by individuals who spend the majority of their time sitting or have a sedentary lifestyle. This is because push-ups are active and strengthen your core, a vital factor in having a better posture. Lastly, improved balance is another benefit of doing push-ups daily for 90 days. Due to the control you gain over time from this move, your balance improves. By chance, are you also looking for a way to shed some pounds? Push-ups can also help you with that. Regular push-ups contribute to accelerating the metabolic rate of the body. The thing with the human body is that by default, it loses muscle mass over time. Clinically, this condition is called sarcopenia. This muscle loss happens in many men, most of them losing about 30% of muscle mass during their lifetimes. Muscle mass helps fuel the metabolism process, which means the loss of muscle mass also aids in the regression of the metabolism. A slow metabolism contributes to body fat accumulation and muscle mass decrease. Thankfully, push-ups and other weight-bearing exercises help speed up your metabolic rate by boosting your muscle size and strength. Number 6. It Boosts Mental Focus Similar to how you tend to feel less stressed when you're able to focus better, your focus also improves when you're less stressed. Performing push-ups every day can bring down your stress levels by releasing endorphins or feel-good hormones. At the same time, this activity also curbs the amount of stress hormones in the body. Additionally, your heart pumps faster in response to doing push-ups, releasing a rush of oxygen to the parts in the body that might need it. That rush of O2 gives is like a wake-up alarm to your system, making you instantly more alert. 
Another positive effect of daily push-ups for 90 days is, number seven, it increases joint support. Push-ups are effective in improving joint support, particularly the joints surrounding the shoulder. Exercising to make these joints stronger is important as they are responsible for keeping your upper arm bone intact in the shoulder socket. On the other hand, you shouldn't be overdoing it, say doing hundreds of push-ups every single day and for three months at that. Do push-ups in moderation, starting with just a couple of reps a day, and then gradually increase increasing as you progress. This way, you can avoid overworking your muscles and tendons. Back pain is a common problem for many. Here's how push-ups can help solve this. Number eight, it alleviates back pain. When performed using proper form and as part of a workout routine that features pulling type exercises like pull-ups and rows to balance things out, push-ups can go a long way toward alleviating lower back pain. Back pain is also linked with weak core muscles, both front and back. Thus, by strengthening your core, you're also reducing the likelihood of suffering from back pain. Moreover, doing strenuous exercises like push-ups releases endorphins in the bloodstream, which then helps ease physical pain and reduce stress. According to studies, more stress is associated with greater pain perception. Speaking of back pain, there's another bodyweight exercise that's excellent for it, and that's none other than dead hang. It works by decompressing the spine, and many more coming up in a bit. Number nine, it promotes calorie burn. Push-ups are like a staple exercise in almost all weight loss workout programs. This is because it's a great way to burn more calories, making you lose weight faster and safely. It uses a ton of energy and engages numerous muscles in a short duration, resulting in the burning of more calories. In other words, the more push-ups you do, the more calories you will burn. Plus, the more muscles you have, the more calories your body burns just by sitting and breathing. But again, don't push yourself too much right from the start. Start slow and increase over time. As you've learned, push-ups come with many benefits. That said, doing push-ups daily is not without some health concerns. To avoid these risks, or at the very least reduce their impact, it's crucial to be aware of them. Here are some health risks associated with doing push-ups every day for 90 days. Back pain. Certain push-up variations like the backward and forward push-ups primarily target the lower back muscles. Thus, when done incorrectly, they can lead to back pain. It's why individuals with existing back conditions are discouraged from doing some push-up variations. And if you're still a beginner who is yet to master the proper form of the standard push-up, I highly suggest you stay away from such variations for now. Injuries. This 90-day push-up challenge would mean doing a repetitive movement every day. Consequently, there is a risk of an overuse injury. Not to mention that you should be focusing on doing the correct form, quality, over the number of reps you do per day, quantity. A smart move would be to start small with the reps and then increase them over time. Fitness Plateau Doing just push-ups every day can start to feel less challenging over time. If this happens, and it will if you're only having push-ups and nothing else to balance things out, then you've reached a fitness plateau, my friend. It means your muscles are no longer developing from your routine. I'm going to show you the 10 most effective push-up modifications that will increase your overall upper body mass, as well as completely define your pecs, allowing you to achieve your goals faster and more efficiently. Everyone knows of the classic push-up exercise. It's renowned for its efficiency in strengthening multiple parts of the body altogether. That said, push-ups are a very limited exercise. There's only so much progress you can gain from doing the same exercise again and again. Fortunately, with push-ups, they can be performed with a plethora of variations, successfully emphasizing different muscle groups and with greater intensity. Find what push-up works best for your body, and you'll see definition and add muscle mass like never before, all from the comfort of your own home. Coming up, I'll reveal my most effective push-up variation to do at home. Number one, pike push-up. This exercise is an excellent movement to build up the shoulders and strength as I place great resistance on the deltoids. It promotes a wide range of rotation of the shoulders. Its starting position is more like an intense plank, which makes it good for core stability. The pike push-up uses no equipment and all of its resistance is solely from your own body weight. If you can do a conventional push-up, then you're capable of doing a pike push-up. How to do it? Start by doing a standard plank position on the ground, keeping your hands parallel with your shoulders. Shoulders. Moving your pelvis upward and forwards to form a triangle with your body, move your torso forward and down, with your hands remaining still while your chest rolls forwards. Your elbows should then bend towards the rear of your body as they do so, and not to the sides. Once your head is within several inches of touching the floor, simply reverse the motion to complete one rep. Important things to keep in mind. 
Don't round your back and pelvis as this makes it hard to maintain a good form. Setting your feet too close together can cause some level of instability. Hands set too forward can also result in body instability. Don't perform the pike push-up with excessive momentum because it will effectively reduce its benefits. Although pike push-ups are good for the core, wait till you hear what archer push-ups have to offer. Number 2. Archer Push-ups as one of the advanced variations, archer push-ups can promote strength building by training one side with greater intensity and focus. It seriously engages your pectoral muscles, all the while putting greater loading on one side of the body at a time. Thanks to its larger range of motion and the one-sided weight distribution, it translates to more intense reps, thus giving you a more intense workout with just your body weight alone. How to do it Start in a high plank position, with your arms straight and your hands wider than shoulder width apart. Make sure your head, shoulders, hips, and feet stay in line. Always keep your knees and hips off the ground. To begin moving, lower yourself down until your chest touches one hand while you keep your other arm straight out to the side. From there, do a push-up and then alternate sides, counting one rep when you return to the starting high plank position. Important things to keep in mind. Keep your core tight to avoid twisting or rotating your body, which can lead to instability. Let your shoulder blades come together at the top of the movement since it's more stable than when done at the bottom. Don't let your hips sag, it's bad for the lower back, nor hold it too high, it makes the exercise harder. If you want to focus more on your triceps at home, you definitely should consider doing diamond push-ups. I'll talk more in detail a little later. Number 3. Wide Hand Push-Up Alternatively known as a wide grip or wide arm push-up, this variation is marked by the hands set significantly wider than shoulder width apart. This way, there's greater recruitment of the pectoral muscles while reducing the triceps brachii involvement. Because of this exercise's inherently shorter range of motion, some consider it as an easier alternative. If you need more training to do the conventional push-up, doing wide grip push-ups would be a good substitute to strengthen your pecs. How to do it First off, get into a plank position with your hands spread further than the shoulder width distance apart. Fully extending your arms will slowly ally your torso to move towards the floor as you bend at the elbows and keep your torso straight. Once your chest is within a hand breadth of touching the floor, push through your palms and into the ground, pushing yourself back to a full plank position as your elbows are back to being fully extended. Important things to keep in mind. Never flare your elbows as this will reduce the effectiveness of the exercise. Actively pull your shoulders down and away from your ears, setting it into a stable and secure position for each rep. Keep the pace slow for better muscle activation. Number 4. Standard Push-Up of course, we can have the classic vanilla push-up feeling left out. After all, it's the very foundation and essence of all push-up variations there are. This famous exercise primarily targets your chest, arms, and shoulders, and to a certain extent, other muscles in the body including your abdominals, quads, glutes, and many more. It's simple yet incredibly effective for training many muscles altogether. How to do it to start, assume a plank position on the floor with your toes touching the ground and your palms set parallel to your shoulders. Keep your legs fully extended throughout the set, your core firmly contracted and your glutes engaged to maintain a straight torso. Keeping your neck neutrally aligned with the spine, bend at your elbows and slowly lower your chest towards the ground. As you do so, keep your torso rigid and avoid rotating your shoulders internally. Once your chest is several inches from the ground, push through your palms and slowly raise your torso back to the starting position until your arms are almost fully extended. Important things to keep in mind Flaring out the elbows too wide can strain the shoulders and cause injuries. Always focus on fully engaging your core and glutes during the movement to maintain a proper form and reap the full benefits of the exercise. One of the keys to an effective fitness program is to increase the intensity of the exercises. For push-ups, what better way to do that than to upgrade to a number 5. Single Arm Push-Up this advanced form of push-up is designed to build stability and strength in both the upper body and core. When you do a set of single arm push-ups, it means you aren't afraid to put in work because it takes tons of practice, coordination, and balance to do it. By removing one arm from the equation, you're increasing the load of the working arm and reducing your base of support, adding an element of instability to make it more challenging. So, yep, mastering this variation absolutely calls for a celebration. On another note, establish good upper body strength first before attempting the one-arm push-up. You can do this by doing 30 unbroken traditional push-ups first or doing a couple of challenging push-up variations. How to do it Start by assuming a push-up position with your shoulders stacked over your wrists and your feet slightly wider than hip-width apart. 
Maintain a straight body from your head to your feet. Keeping the tension throughout your body, raise your right hand off the floor and bring it behind your back. From there, bend your left elbow to lower your body toward the floor. Press away from the floor to return to the starting position. Always do equal reps on both arms to ensure balance. Important things to keep in mind. Don't flare out your elbow and your hand pointed straight forward because these will diminish your mechanical advantage. Avoid letting your elbow move past your wrist, either behind or to the side, as it decreases overall performance. Maintain a strong and stable body position and don't let your torso twist. Another highly effective push-up form to do at home is the number 6 Superman Push-Up. This challenging variation targets the chest, shoulders, and core while also boosting the overall upper body strength. It's one of the best push-up forms to develop core strength and one of the most advanced plank variations to target the obliques and abdominals. Adding this to your routine brings a host of benefits including improved posture and stability, increased muscle activation, and a stronger, more defined upper body. It's an advanced level exercise, so you will have to be able to do at least 12 plus standard push-ups. How to do it Start in a traditional push-up position. Now extend your arms in front of you and extend your legs behind you. Your fingers should be spread out and your core and glutes tightened. Lower your body down to the ground while keeping your back straight and your core engaged. Hold this Superman-like position for a second or two, then slowly lower your body back to the starting position. Important things to keep in mind. Keep your neck neutrally positioned, back straight and core engaged throughout the exercise to avoid injury. Move in a slow and controlled manner, focusing on the muscle groups you are working on. Always keep your arms straight, otherwise it'll reduce the effectiveness of the exercise. Have you tried any of those push-up variations before? Which was your favorite so far? Mine is the pike push-up because it's very shoulder Centric. Let us know in the comments what you think of any of these exercises so far. Number 7. Shoulder Tap Push-Up This full-body strength exercise emphasizes on the arms and chest while also strengthening the core. The shoulder tap is the key movement here as it forces you to activate more stabilizer muscles. Balancing your weight on one arm in a push-up position also demands more work from your abs, obliques, and back muscles, thus making this variation a powerful core and full-body exercise. With a solid midriff comes a stronger, more capable version of yourself. How to do it Get on all fours with your hands under your shoulders, toes tucked and knees under your hips. Extend one leg at a time and assume a push-up position with your legs straight but slightly wider than normal. Elbows extended and head in a neutral position facing at the floor. From there, bend your elbows and slowly drop down until your chest touches the floor. Press hard through your palms and squeeze your chest muscles until both arms are fully extended. Raise either hand off the ground and touch the opposite shoulder. Return your hand to its original spot, then lift your other hand and touch the opposite shoulder. Important things to keep in mind. Keep your spine rigid all throughout the exercise. Make sure you push all the way through the floor at the top of the movement and allow your shoulder blades to move around your rib cage to really get the full benefits. Don't tap too quickly as it may cause you to break the proper push-up form and fail to reap the benefits of this exercise. By the way, push-ups, variations and all, are still just push-ups. If you want to seriously grow your muscles and strength, you need to do other exercises too. Dead hangs are a must-do. More on that in a bit. Number 8. Diamond Push-Up Like its name, this variation is performed with your hands set beneath your torso, forming a diamond shape. It's gained popularity as a tricep-focused exercise, but its benefits go beyond just that. This includes improved core strength and stability increased chest muscle activity and increased shoulder strength. Due to the narrower base of support, the diamond push-up is one of the more challenging variations. The majority of the workload is placed on the triceps instead of the usual muscles targeted in a classic push-up. How to do it? The setup is similar to a traditional push-up. Assuming a plank position with the feet parallel to the hips and the hands on the floor beneath the chest. Bring your hands and forefingers together almost directly under the chest to form a diamond. Maintaining a tight and straight body, lower your chest toward the ground with your elbows pointing back to the feet. Keep your body lowered until your arms are along the side of your ribcage. Pause for a moment before driving upward until your elbows are straightened out. When doing the upward movement, maintain the alignment of your body. Important things to keep in mind. Keep your elbows close to your body and don't flare them out too much. Arching your back is no good. It only means you're not activating your core and glutes, not to mention it creates a bad form of habit. 
Don't put your hands too forward. It must be directly under your shoulders when in the high plank position. Speaking of building your triceps, another push-up variation that's designed exactly to do that is the number 9 close grip push-up. This variation of the push-up involves the hands positioned less than shoulder width apart. Doing so puts more emphasis on the triceps, while also making the movement more difficult to stabilize. The close grip push-up is designed to target the triceps in a manner that other push-up variations cannot achieve. It provides a significant loading of the triceps brachii without alienating the pectoral or shoulder muscles. Moreover, this exercise would make a fantastic substitute for other triceps-focused bodyweight exercises that may require additional equipment. How to do it? Position yourself on the ground with your legs fully extended and arms supporting the upper body. Keep your knees off the ground. Assume a narrower push-up stance than you normally would. Now lift yourself off the ground, straightening your elbows and your arms, but also keeping your elbows close to your body. Lift until your elbows are locked and pause for a moment at the top of the movement. Now slowly lower your body and feel the motion down until your chest is very close to the ground. Important things to keep in mind. Don't let your elbows flare or point out to the side. The angle between the arm and torso has to be around 45 degrees. Keep your body in a straight line for the whole duration of the exercise. Squeeze your glutes and engage your core before you move forward with the push-up move. One of the most effective push-up variations that target the triceps is none other than the number 10 forearm push-up. Despite its name, this push-up form doesn't necessarily target your forearms. Instead, it refers to the position of the body. The forearm push-up can strengthen the chest and shoulders much like the traditional version. However, this one is mostly employed to improve upper body mobility and core strength. Interestingly, this exercise can be used as an alternative to body weight tricep dips due to their similarity in intensity and muscular recruitment. How to do it? Start by getting into a plank with your hands shoulder width apart and somewhat further forward from the chest. Keep your core contracted throughout the movement and your glutes squeezed to maintain a flat rigid torso. Bending at your arms, lower your chest towards the ground as you draw your elbows backward, allowing the forearms to follow the torso until they are both parallel to the floor. At this point of the exercise, your forearms should be nearly flat against the ground with your triceps supporting much of your upper body's weight. Squeeze your triceps and push through your palms, extending the elbows again and returning to the starting position. Important things to keep in mind. Don't arch your lower back and pelvis as this will shorten the range of motion. Keep your wrists in a neutral position as you perform the descending part of the exercise. Don't flare your elbows out to the side as it can lead to irritation and injury of the connective tissues in the elbow. Because you stuck around until the end, here's another push-up variation which is also my favorite when it comes to getting the most out of my home workout routine. Number 11, Spider-Man Push-Up. This exercise requires a significant amount of chest, triceps, and shoulder activation while further targeting your core and obliques. It's pretty simple to get accustomed to, especially after mastering the traditional push-up, since it has nearly the same muscles targeted. How to do it? Begin in the high plank position with your hands on the floor directly below your shoulders and your arms straight. As you bend your arms and lower yourself, bend your knees to bring your thigh forward and touch the elbow of the same side. Lower yourself until your elbows are nearly level with your knees. Count one rep when you return to the high plank position with one side counted as one repetition. Important things to keep in mind. Keep your body straight from your head to your heels throughout the exercise. Your elbows should always point back towards your feet, not flaring out to the sides away from the ribs. Brace your core the entire time. Push-ups are an excellent cornerstone of every exercise routine. These movements engage many muscle groups without demanding too much time or single gym equipment. One major fitness goal that you can achieve with regular push-ups is increased muscle strength. And yes, you actually don't have to lift a ton of weight to be considered strong. A push-up alongside its many different variations can go a long way in building not just upper body strength, but also muscle and definition. So the question now is, what do you need to do to be able to perform more push-ups? Learning and using the correct push-up form is one. Want to know more? Just keep watching. Step 1. Understand the basics of push-ups first. Before starting a push-up training workout, it's better to equip yourself with the knowledge of the basic principles of fitness training. This way, you'll know how to enhance your fitness both safely and systematically. By understanding the basics, you will be able to train more effectively. Number 1. Understand your unique needs. In the exercise domain, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. 
Put simply, each individual must have a strength training program that's tailored to suit their needs. Additionally, how a person responds to exercise must also be considered, which is based on factors like body shape and size, genetics, sex, chronic conditions, and injuries. Before we continue, a like would be great. Number 2. Slowly increase your workout load For your heart and muscles to get stronger, your workout load must be increased gradually compared to what you're used to. For example, as you move toward your goal of getting stronger, perform a set of 5 regular push-ups in between sets of modified push-ups. Number 3. Challenge yourself You'll also need to make your workouts harder and to do that, you must add new challenges. To increase the level of fitness for push-ups, consider challenging yourself with holding a plank position for one hole or doing intense variations like spider push-ups. Number 4. Listen to your body One of the great things about the human body is its ability to quickly adapt to many changes. One example of change is the increased workload and challenges the body is presented with. That said, it's crucial to listen to your body's cues for any sign of distress or pain to avoid injury. If you experience pain or a pinching sensation in your upper body, shoulders, or wrists, do modified push-ups instead of lowering to your knees. Either that or you can stop and take a rest. Number 5. Be consistent The thing with muscles is that you either use them or lose them. If you don't stay consistent with your workout schedule, it can lead to deconditioning and muscle atrophy. Deconditioning is a physical and or psychological decline in function after a long period of inactivity. On the other hand, muscle atrophy is the decrease in size and wasting away of muscle tissues. Therefore, if you want to do more push-ups, you have to always add push-ups into your workout routines. Number 6. Always have time for rest Recovery is just as important as the exercise itself. You must also cross-train other muscles in the body and engage in lighter activities such as stretching, walking, or yoga. If you ask around, most fitness trainers would tell you to rest from all exercise one to two days per week depending on your fitness level. Ready to crank out several reps? Before you do that, it's vital to practice a good push-up form. Here's how to do that. Step 2. Maintain a good push-up form A compound exercise is a movement that uses multiple joints and recruits different muscle groups at once. Most of the load would be felt in the upper body, focusing primarily on the shoulders, chest, triceps, and biceps. A quick tip, if you're still increasing your strength for standard push-ups, you can do an easier version by lowering to your knees, using an incline, or standing up and facing a wall. Modifications like these are great if you are unable to lower them all the way down. To do a push-up while maintaining good form, follow these steps. Number 1. First off, assume a tabletop position on your hands and knees with your hands placed slightly wider than your shoulders. Number 2. Next, extend your legs back and tuck your toes under as you lift your knees off the floor. Make sure your body is in a straight line from head to toe and don't sag in the middle or arch your back. You may position your feet a little wider or narrower depending on what's more stable for you. Number 3. Before lowering your body, draw your belly button in toward your spine to engage your core. Number 4. As you inhale, start bending your elbows. Keep them hugged as you lower yourself until your elbows reach a 90-degree angle. Number 5. As you exhale, contract your chest muscles and push back up through your hands to return to your first position. Remember to avoid locking your elbows by keeping them slightly bent to keep your triceps and biceps engaged. Having a routine and sticking with it is also crucial if you want to increase your push-up reps. Keep watching to know the rest of the details. Step 3. Establish a push-up routine To effectively build up strength for your push-ups and stick to your workout, you must create a routine and include it in your weekly workout regimen. For example, start your cardio training workout with a few sets of push-ups. Another way is to add them to a circuit of high-intensity workouts. Number 1. Know your baseline repetitions In 2 minutes, perform as many push-ups as you can. Once you get the result, divide the number by 3. This is your baseline repetition count or the number of reps you should do in each set. In general, each workout includes three sets of your baseline repetition. Number 2. Start with the basics Do a push-up training session every other day. Make sure to warm up with cycling, a slow jog, or a jumping rope. Do your basic workout with three sets of push-ups and a 30-second rest between sets. Each week, add two to three reps to your sets. Test yourself again every four weeks to establish a new repetition baseline. Number 3. Incorporate variety 
Push-ups can be done in a multitude of ways. One way is to change your hand placement during repetitions. Go from one placement to another by starting your reps with a narrow hand, then progressively widening the hand position during each set. Number 4. Vary your body position Similar to how you alter your hand position during a push-up, you can also do the same with your body position. Doing so will increase or decrease the intensity of the exercise. For more intensity, do decline push-ups, stability ball push-ups, or plyometric push-ups. For less intensity, do hand release push-ups or do your push-ups on your knees, on a box bench, or against the wall. Number 5. Add resistance Another great way to increase your strength and eventually your push-up reps is to increase resistance. Elevating your feet while doing push-ups is one approach, albeit this also changes your range of motion. So, to increase resistance during a traditional push-up, you can use a weighted vest. Don't have one? You can just DIY. Get a clothes-fitting backpack, fill it with sandbags or water bladders, and wear that as you perform push-ups. Number 6. Use plank as the final move Get the most out of the last minute of your push-up workout by dedicating it to boosting your core strength and stability. There is no better way to finish off your upper body workout than doing the classic plank exercise. Consider holding the plank for 30 to 60 seconds, then finish with a long, slow, prone back extension at the end of the workout. Number 7. Rest and Recover Are you doing push-up exercises to fatigue? If so, then at least one day of recovery between push-up workouts is highly advised. Performing daily push-ups, if done to fatigue, can kill your efforts and result in a decrease in strength and endurance. A few push-up tips to remember. Practice makes perfect. So if you want to get better at push-ups, then you must follow a regular push-up routine. To make your routine easier to stick with, here are a couple things to bear in mind. Always maintain good form. Rest between sets. Practice often. Vary your workouts. Don't skimp on rest days. Stop if you experience pain.